This lesson will cover the dictation commands for typing documents. We're going to use Microsoft Word, as you can see. And what we're going to do, we're going to manipulate the content using some commands. Start listening. Mouse grid. Four. Click. First, we click on the screen, comma, and then we can start typing, period. When we finish a paragraph, we say, comma, open quote, new paragraph, period, close quote, new paragraph. Another command that we can give is open quote, new line, period, close quote, new line. Rather than taking us down double space, comma, it places the cursor on the following line period. Currently my cursor is at the end of this paragraph. If I want to move the cursor up here to first, I can easily do that. Period. Go to first. One. Okay. If I want the cursor to be after the word first, select previous 11 words, delete that, stop listening. If I want the cursor to go after the word first, I say go after first. Start listening, go after first. Okay, comma, move to end a paragraph, move down one paragraph. If I want to type some more text, all I have to do is move my cursor to where I want to type. Select tax, text. Click OK, comma, move to the end of sentence, period. I can select a series of words, colon, select have through cursor, mouse screen, one, four, Two, eight, three, click. Stop listening. So I can use the mouse grid commands along with the commands inside of the dictation software to manipulate things and change things. Start listening. Move up one paragraph. Select previous paragraph. Delete that. Undo that. Stop listening. So delete that and undo that are very important commands as well. Sometimes you will accidentally select the content and delete it. And you can say undo that. Another thing you can do is type right over the content using your voice. Select one, click OK. When you decide that you want to change a word or you have the incorrect word, you just have to say select and then the word. So let me demonstrate that and I'll take it a little bit slower. This screen pops up, you're able to see what alternatives from what you said you can choose. So you can 
say select one or two or whatever and so you'll see that there'll be a different set of words depending on which one is your correct content because you have the spelling of right and then you have ride so you have a couple spellings of right and ride and read okay so that's why it allows you to see that and then when you're done make you say select whatever number and then you say click OK select one click OK instead of saying select right what I should do is say correct right watch correct right select two click OK correct right select two click OK so that's how that works one thing that I almost forgot is that you can actually spell out words so let me type something start listening one of the things that you can do is you can correct words by spelling them especially if they're proper nouns period let's say President Bush comma President Obama comma and President Trump comma met with the newly elected President Biden period so in this case Obama it may be problematic for the software so what you want to do is you want to select this so I'm going to say select an all born or all bomb see it's actually made two two words out of it let's try to correct that start listening correct Obama spell it capital O B A M A click OK So that's how you make a spelling change.